Oh, this next this next poem is a, I think, a new poem. So I'm going to read it for you. Um, it's called Woman. So yeah, I just wrote this in the last um, last month or so. It's kind of a Frankenstein of some older pieces, but still. I went to a friend's bat mitzvah, wearing a Playtex pad soaked with the first blood that didn't get cut or scraped out of me. But it still hurt. I can't remember her name. She's not a friend anymore, but she became a woman then. And I became a woman on the very same day. How strange. There wasn't a pamphlet, a tutorial, a test prep text, or a coffee table book. I don't think there ever will be. I don't have a daughter. I don't want a daughter because if I do I'll have to teach her the things that got taught to me and someday she'll teach her daughter all that I taught her and she'll never teach her enough there will never be enough to teach her teach her how to be a woman teach her that you should send your smile straight to someone's eyeballs black pupils swallowing up your teeth like bits of meat on a plate your teeth should only bite the bits of meat on your plate. Teach her the mouths of women can't bite anything else. Teach her that a smile is infectious, but teach your daughter that her smile is an antidote and the world will choke on closed lips if she does not give it up. Teach her that a smile signifies respect before she knows what respect is and who it belongs to and who she belongs to and where she belongs. Teach her these answers before she asks questions and she'll never know what we never knew. Teach her what to do and teach her so many, so many things. She's so lucky. I was lucky to have all of this taught to me, but I never learned anything that I didn't see. So that can't be my daughter. Never could be. I want to teach my daughter something new. Tell her the stuff I wasn't taught. Never teach, just tell her. I'll tell her, a woman should consider her duties and her place. Yes, consider them often in seclusion and darkness. Sink into your role, which is woman, which is you, which is weaker sex, subservient, second place and shit. We all feel it, that the fastest woman alive could never win a race against the world's fastest man. I'll tell her, take those thoughts and slowly, Shove them up the dick hole that's nearest to you. I'll tell her masculinity can be so fragile because the privilege always fear the power they've lost to equality. I'll tell her to live life and find the one you love. I'll tell her stop believing the lies you were told in inspirational self-righteous Facebook statuses of friends of friends. Like if you love him, let him go. I'll tell her no, don't do that. If something anything loves you keep its grip don't let it hit you and split and go back under like the stingray that killed the crocodile hunter let it keep you afloat i'll tell her find the one you love i'll tell her lose the one you love lose love maybe it happens fast and maybe it doesn't it just happens sometimes and maybe you are left hanging helplessly like the laces of shoes tied over power lines and maybe you are the power lines i'll tell her there will be other shoes to swing over your primary wires and it's okay if nobody is ever tall enough to fill them i'll tell her i'm sorry i'll sit her down and i'll say look i'm sorry for all the time i spent thinking i was not strong enough I could have simply flexed myself and pressed, but I'm so sorry about the darkness, how it followed me home some nights like creepy car headlights in a horror film. I'm sorry. I've worn my skin like a disposable Halloween costume. It is just so fucking itchy. I'll tell her to live. Live in your own skin. Stare at your veins from the outside in. Please live. Please find yourself. Play hide and go seek with yourself. Please remember yourself when you wander. We are all growing up in somebody else's hometown. I don't want a daughter, but just in case. I'll hold her face in my hands and I'll tell her this. I'll tell her so many things. I'll teach her nothing. I'll tell her to look in the mirror and learn what she sees. I'll tell her the woman in the mirror is the perfect woman to be. Thank you.